I am no firearms expert by any means whatsoever. And don't get me wrong, I uh, support the Second Amendment as I support the Constitution of this great country as an American that I am. Um, But I'm personally, myself, uh, just have never, you know, been into guns or um, am really not knowledgeable at all about firearms. But I do know that with fans and followers, not only throughout uh, this great country, but also uh, in different parts of this uh, world, including, as I've said before, i got a lot of fans and followers in the UK area. Um, please comment below anyone that is uh, knowledgeable of firearms and um, maybe possibly even any experts, retired law enforcement, current law enforcement. Uh, please comment below. Uh, here's what I'm curious of, okay? As you can see, this is uh, the Greece, New York Police Department. As you know, the Greece, New York Police Department is back under the spotlight once again for uh, this time for their ex chief, uh, Drew Forsyth, driving drunk, totaling his cruiser, crashing against the guardrail, claiming that he hit a deer, um, and then trying to flee the scene and cover it all up, uh, driving at least five miles towards his home on three wheels and the his officers basically covered for their boss they didn't perform a field sobriety test and basically it's the same old same old when it comes to the greece new york police department and their long history of misconduct corruption and cover-ups Whew. all right now that i got that all out there this is a photo of several greece new york police officers uh basically no other way to put it fucking off on the job on taxpayer money each of them armed with their firearm. As you can see, the officer in the middle being carried by his colleagues and fellow officers. His gun is probably just over a foot, if that, from uh, the other officer. It's pretty much pointing at him. So my question to everyone out there, especially those knowledgeable of firearms, is this necessarily safe? Uh, never mind that it's just, you know, kind of disturbing to see police officers, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously having a lot of time in their hands to screw around on the job and take photos of, you know, a bunch of grown men, uh, basically acting like fucking kids. But is it safe? Is it safe for... All these men, how many are there here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grown men, right? Fucking around on duty, on work hours, armed. Is it just safe? Obviously, it's inappropriate. It's completely just embarrassing. But then again, it's the Greece, New York Police Department. But is it safe? Because it seems to me, as you can see, that, you know, guns, I don't know a lot about guns, but I know enough to know that accidents do happen and guns can accidentally go off if not handled properly. And even sometimes when handled properly, guns can go off, right? And if I'm wrong, again, that's what the comment section is for. Please feel free to... Uh, give your opinion here. If I'm wrong, then then just let me know that. But I don't think I am. I don't think I am. I don't think it's safe. As you can see, the gun is clearly pointing at this officer here uh, that's holding the officer's legs that they're carrying. And it just seems not only inappropriate, silly, just disgusting, frankly, that eight grown men would find the time to fuck around like this, right? But also, is it safe? Please comment below. And then this photo reminds me of another photo, which a lot of you, uh, the you know, the uh, regular followers uh, of Davy V TV, of my videos, of my work, of my blog, the Davy V blog, 
will remember this is the Rochester, New York Police Department many years ago on the roof, on the rooftop of the Rochester, New York Public Safety Building located in downtown Rochester, New York, also fucking around on taxpayer dollars in full uniform armed uh, for a photo op of them basically play fighting, and I don't know what the fuck the one on the right here is doing. I guess it's like a karate kid. What do they call it? The crane or something? Just completely ridiculous. And again, law enforcement wonders why people, citizens, have lost so much respect for them. Can you blame these citizens for losing respect in law enforcement when you constantly hear about the misconduct, the corruption, the lack of transparency, the cover-ups, the the above-the-law mentality, and the fact that obviously they have nothing better to do than to fuck around and screw off and basically waste taxpayer money. Once again, thank you for watching. Davey V. TV.